The Premier League is by far the most watched football competition in the world. With world-class players, high stakes matches, and some of the most iconic stadiums in football history. But what truly sets the Premier League apart isn't just the action on the pitch, it's the roaring stadiums that amplify the intensity of each game. Each ground has its own character, its own story, and its own atmosphere. But some are simply better than others, and that's what we'll be looking at now. Here's our official ranking of the stadiums in the Premier League 2024-2025 season. The last of these cost almost 300 million pounds to build. Dean Court or Vitality Stadium, AFC Bournemouth. Dean Court or Vitality Stadium lands the last spot on today's list for a key reason, its modest size. Home to AFC Bournemouth, the stadium located in Kings Park, Boscombe, is the smallest in the Premier League with a seating capacity of just 11,379. However, what Vitality lacks in size, it makes up for in spirit, hosting a club that has fought above its weight to compete with the other Premier League giants. While it may not boast the grandeur of larger grounds, the stadium's compact nature brings fans closer to the action, but in terms of capacity and infrastructure, it really lags behind the more expansive venues in England's top flight. Next, Selhurst Park, Crystal Palace. Coming in at 19th, we have Selhurst Park, the proud home of Crystal Palace, nestled in the London borough of Croydon. This stadium has a seating capacity of 25,486, giving it a more traditional old school football feel. Its location in South London also adds to its charm, standing as a fortress for Crystal Palace. On top of that, its Holmesdale Road stand is known for creating an intense, lively environment that can make even the toughest opponents feel the pressure. Unfortunately, Selhurst Park lands in this position largely due to its traditional old school feel, which feels a little outdated and relatively modest size compared to other Premier League stadiums. Its aging infrastructure and limited space for expansion hold it back. Next up, we have one of the most exciting underdog stories in the Premier League, Portman Road, Ipswich Town. Up in the 18th spot is Portman Road, home of Ipswich Town in Suffolk. With a capacity of 30,014, with a record attendance of 38,000, Portman Road is the largest capacity football ground in East Anglia. What makes it truly fascinating is how the stadium has evolved alongside the highs and lows of Ipswich Town's football journey. The club faced a major setback in 2002 when they were relegated from the Premier League after finishing 18th in the league. This demotion hit the club hard financially but it bounced back in 2024 when the club was promoted to the Premier League again, which meant the club had to take out the big bucks to bring it back to Premier League standards, including new press and camera areas. Next up, a shocker for some, as this one's one of the most historically beloved stadiums in England, Goodison Park, Everton FC. In our 17th spot, we ranked Goodison Park, the ancestral home of Everton FC. This stadium has been the heart of Merseyside football for well over a century, hosting more top flight games than any other venue in England. Goodison's intimate setting with its stands so close to the pitch has created an electric atmosphere that has witnessed the rise of legends like Dixie Dean and the glory of Everton's league and cup triumphs. However, the stadium's age has presented challenges and that's why it doesn't rank higher. Goodison Park was converted to an all-seater in 1994 reducing its capacity to just over 39,000. But the stadium is also in a well-known state of disrepair, more so than most other stadiums in the Premier League. Despite its grand legacy, Goodison Park's future is nearing an end as Everton prepares to move to the state-of-the-art Bramley Moore Dock Stadium, which we covered in this video about the new Everton Stadium. Next up, we have yet another underdog story of one team that defied all odds to win the Premier League title. King Power Stadium, Leicester City. Located on the banks of River Soar, this modern stadium boasts a capacity of 32,261 and has become an iconic part of the club's recent history. Opened in 2002, the King Power Stadium is known for its sleek design and excellent facilities and some lofty renovation plans, including a planned pavilion behind the South End with a multi-level car park and a new impressive semi-dome which will be illuminated at night. But what truly makes it stand out is the unforgettable 2015-2016 season, 
when Leicester City defied the odds to win the Premier League title. Against all odds, Leicester City, a team that had narrowly escaped relegation the season before, climbed to the top of English football, overcoming powerhouse clubs like Manchester City, Chelsea, Manchester United, Liverpool, and Arsenal. Now we have the largest football ground in the south of England, one known for its particularly electric atmosphere, St. Mary's Stadium, Southampton FC. This is St. Mary's Stadium, home of Southampton FC. Situated on the banks of the River Itchen, St. Mary's is a modern all-seater stadium with a capacity of 32,384. Opened in 2001, St. Mary's has become synonymous with the Saints' high energy, attacking football, offering fans a vibrant match day experience. The move to St. Mary's was a significant upgrade from Southampton's previous home at the Dell, providing the club with the facilities needed to compete at the highest level. So during key matches, the stadium's special acoustics amplify the roar of the Saints' faithful. But there's another stadium that trumps even St. Mary's acoustics with stronger ones of their own. St. James Park, Newcastle United. At number 14, we have the legendary St. James's Park, home of Newcastle United. This towering stadium, with a capacity of over 52,000, is not only one of the biggest in England, but also one of the most iconic, but why exactly? First of all, it's perched in the heart of Newcastle upon Tyne, dominating the Newcastle skyline as a true fortress for the Magpies. The atmosphere here is nothing short of thunderous as the passionate Geordie faithful turn every match into an event. Known for its steep stands and incredible acoustics, the roar from the crowd reverberates throughout the stadium, creating an intimidating setting for visiting teams. But at the same time, it's precisely its landmark status that holds it back from ranking higher. The location of the stadium, nestled in the heart of the city and surrounded by urban infrastructure, makes it difficult to increase seating without significant structural changes. And of course, the stadium's facilities have aged with time. The issue is that, unlike other stadiums, this one's incredibly difficult to modernize precisely because of its tight city center footprint. And speaking of historical stadiums, we need to talk about Craven Cottage. Craven Cottage, Fulham FC. Nestled on the banks of the River Thames in West London, this stadium offers a unique blend of tradition and modernity. Opened in 1896, Craven Cottage has maintained much of its original character, with the famous cottage itself still standing in one corner of the pitch. With a capacity of just over 25,000, it's smaller than many Premier League stadiums, but its intimate atmosphere makes it stand out. Fans are treated to a picturesque view of the riverside while experiencing the close-knit, old-school vibe that modern stadiums often lack. The recent renovations have added a modern riverside stand, blending the stadium's heritage with the comforts of the modern era, making it a beloved destination not just for Fulham fans, but for football purists everywhere. While the intimate atmosphere is a draw for some, it can feel less imposing compared to larger Premier League venues. Additionally, despite recent upgrades, parts of the stadium still retain an older infrastructure, which may lack some of the modern amenities found in newer, larger stadiums. Next up, we have one of England's legendary historical stadiums, City Ground Nottingham Forest. Coming in at number 12, we have the City Ground, home to Nottingham Forest. This stadium has witnessed some of the most glorious moments in English football history, especially during the late 1970s and early 1980s when Forrest, under legendary manager Brian Clough, won back-to-back -back European Cups. The ground's connection to the club's rich past, combined with its ongoing role in Forrest's Premier League journey, makes it a noteworthy venue. The city ground, with its capacity of over 30,000, has a unique charm, sitting along the banks of the River Trent, and it continues to be a fortress for Forest fans. As for the stadium's atmosphere, its loyal supporters fill the stands and proudly sing Mull of Kintyre before each home game. And speaking of history and tradition, how about the stadium that witnessed it? Stamford Bridge, Chelsea FC. Stamford Bridge, home to Chelsea FC, comes in at number 11 on our list. With a capacity of just over 40,000, this historic stadium may not be the largest in the Premier League, but it certainly packs a punch in terms of atmosphere and tradition. Opened in 1905, Stamford Bridge has seen countless dramatic moments in football history. 
It was here that legends like Gianfranco Zola, Didier Drogba, and Frank Lampard dazzled the crowds. Stamford Bridge has also been the stage for Chelsea's incredible journey to domestic and international glory, including multiple Premier League titles and their dramatic Champions League triumphs. It has also hosted Charity Shield games and numerous other sports, including cricket, rugby union, Greyhound Racing, and the mythical match between Chelsea and Arsenal on 12th of October, 1935, where over 82,905 people assisted, more than double the stadium's capacity. What holds Stamford Bridge back is its restricted potential for expansion. Nestled in a tightly packed part of West London, the stadium's limited space has made it difficult for the club to increase capacity. Despite several redevelopment plans being discussed, None have materialized yet, leaving Chelsea's loyal fans hoping for future upgrades. Still, with its rich history and the ever-present roar of the home crowd, Stamford Bridge remains one of the most recognizable and respected grounds in football. G-Tech Community Stadium, Brentford. At number 10, we have the G-Tech Community Stadium. Opened in 2020, this modern, sleek venue boasts a capacity of 17,250 and serves as a symbol of Brentford's impressive rise in English football. The G-Tech Community Stadium is more than just a football ground. It's designed to be a multi-purpose venue that brings the community together, hosting rugby matches and other events in addition to football. Its compact design ensures that every seat has a fantastic view of the pitch, creating an intimate yet electric atmosphere on match days. What makes this stadium truly stand out is its sustainability and forward-thinking design with eco-friendly features such as solar panels and energy-efficient facilities. For Brentford, a club with a rich history and passionate fan base, the G-Tech Community Stadium represents a bright and ambitious future on the Premier League stage. The only thing that holds it back is its low capacity, which prevents it from holding large-scale matches like the remaining stadiums on the list. Uh, next up, we have one of the historic gems of English football, Molyneux Stadium, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Molyneux Stadium, home to Wolverhampton Wanderers, is the first stadium built for use by a football league club, and that classical factor alone makes it historically relevant. It also hosted one of the earliest European club games. Opened in 1889, Molyneux has witnessed countless highs and lows, including Wolves' dominance in the 1950s, when they were one of the strongest teams in the country. What makes Molyneux stand out is the fierce loyalty of its fans who create a pulsating atmosphere on match days, roaring their team on from the famous South Bank stand. Molyneux's proximity to the city center also makes it an iconic landmark in Wolverhampton, where the club's rich legacy lives on in every match played. At the time of its multi-million pound renovation in the early 1990s, it was one of the biggest modern stadiums in England, but it has been unfortunately eclipsed by its competitors higher up in this list. Amex Stadium, Brighton and Hove Albion. Coming in at number eight, we have the home to Brighton and Hove Albion. Nestled in the picturesque South Downs near Falmer, this modern stadium is a perfect blend of functionality and aesthetics with its sleek design and sweeping curves. Opened in 2011, this one's one of the most modern stadiums on today's ranking, but also one of the smaller ones at just over 31,000 seats. What brings it above the other stadiums, despite its size, is its curvaceous design strategically offers fans incredible views from every seat, plus its incredible role in causing Brighton's rise through the ranks of English football, providing a home for the club's resurgence after years of uncertainty, which also scores at a good set of points for the ranking. London Stadium, West Ham United. The London Stadium, home to West Ham United, stands out for its sheer size, boasting a capacity of 62,500, making it one of the largest in the Premier League. Originally built for the 2012 Olympics, the stadium was designed with versatility in mind. Its sleek, modern design offers a world-class experience for fans with excellent sight lines and state-of-the-art facilities. However, what holds it back is its legacy as an athletics venue. The running track surrounding the pitch means that fans are farther from the action compared to more traditional football stadiums, and that's a bigger factor than most people think in raising team morale. This can sometimes dampen the intensity of the atmosphere, as the stands lack that close, intimate feeling 
between supporters and the players. While efforts have been made to adapt the stadium to its new footballing purpose, this lingering element can make it less intimidating for visiting teams. Now that we've arrived at our top six, which of the remaining Premier League stadiums do you think we ranked first? Let us know in the comments. Next up, we have the legendary Theater of Dreams, Old Trafford, Manchester United. Old Trafford is the legendary home of Manchester United. It isn't just a stadium, it's a symbol of greatness, so it should surprise many Premier League fans that it ranked just in the sixth place. Well, let's start with the positives. Old Trafford has a capacity of 74,310, the largest club football stadium in the UK. It has been the heart and soul of Manchester United since 1910. Countless unforgettable moments have unfolded here. From title deciding matches to incredible European nights, the stadium has hosted some of the greatest players in football history, including George Best, Eric Cantona, Cristiano Ronaldo, and many more. Walking into Old Trafford is like stepping into football history. Unfortunately, we couldn't rank it higher because Old Trafford has also fallen into disrepair with the passing years. Issues with outdated facilities, leaks, and poor seating in certain areas have left some fans feeling that the stadium is lagging behind its modern counterparts. Compared to the sleek, state-of-the-art arenas in the Upper Five, Old Trafford leaves a little something to be desired. And while a renovation project is underway, which we covered in this video, the remaining grounds present the peak of Premier League stadium infrastructure. Anfield, Liverpool FC. If there's one stadium that could give Old Trafford a run for its money in terms of iconic relevance, it's Anfield for sure. With a capacity of 60,725, Anfield is more than just a place to watch football. It's the heart of Liverpool. The atmosphere itself is powerful. Just look at the famous, you'll never walk alone anthem filling the air at the start of every match. The chorus of thousands of passionate fans singing in unison creates a spine tingling experience like no other. And that's actually a consequence of its design. The stadium's steep towering stands ensure that the roar of the crowd echoes across the pitch, pushing the team forward with unwavering support. Anfield's history, tradition, and energy make it a special place where football transcends the game itself and becomes a shared moment of unity and pride. Villa Park, Aston Villa. With a seating capacity of 42,640, the home of Aston Villa is a moderately sized stadium compared to other competitors in the list, but it makes up for it because it has hosted 55 FA Cup semifinals, more than any other stadium. It has four stands, but of note is its hold to end. The most iconic stand in the whole stadium not only for its fan chants, but also its looming presence over the pitch, which creates an intimidating presence for opposing teams. Aston Villa has ambitious plans to redevelop the stadium's North Stand, which would boost capacity to over 50,000, while also adding a new entertainment and commercial complex known as Villa Live, further cementing Villa Park's place among top-tier football venues. And then next up, we have one of the best playing grounds in England, because it's home to the most dominant team in the Premier League right now. Etihad Stadium, Manchester City. You probably guessed it. We're talking about the Etihad Stadium, home to Manchester City. With an impressive capacity of 55,000, the stadium has one of the best architectural designs, even among the top four, only bested by the numbers above it. The sweeping roof lines and clean architectural style give it a futuristic feel, blending beauty with functionality. And there's also the Poznan celebration that Manchester City fans do whenever there's a moment to celebrate in the home matches. But it's not just the fans who benefit. The pitch is renowned for being in pristine condition year round, making it a favorite for players too. That happens when game supporters stand with their backs to the pitch, linking shoulders side by side and jumping on the spot at the same time. Its open bowl design ensures excellent sight lines from every seat, meaning no matter where you sit, you're right in the heart of the action. It didn't rank higher, not because it's lacking compared to the other stadiums, but because the runner-up is the only one with a pitch that's more highly praised than Etihad's. Emirates Stadium, Arsenal FC. Found in North London, Emirates Stadium replaced the beloved Highbury and has become a fortress for the Gunners, embodying their forward-thinking philosophy both on and off the pitch. 
This world-class arena is one of the most modern football venues in Europe, boasting a seating capacity of 60,704. We've placed it so high on the list because of its modern architectural style. Its pitch quality and groundsmanship have been praised even internationally, leading it to being nicknamed the carpet by match-going fans and the wider sports media. It hosts international football fixtures and also international music acts regularly simply because of how beautiful the stadium is. So you can imagine that the winner for the best Premier League stadium is one with an even more beautiful design and modern facilities than the Emirates Stadium. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, Tottenham Hotspur. It shouldn't surprise anyone that Tottenham's newly constructed billion pound stadium is the best one in the Premier League. With a seating capacity of 62,850, it's the third largest football stadium in England and the largest club ground in London. It's home of the NFL in the UK, the world's first dividing retractable football pitch. Its design is that of an asymmetric bowl, allowing the stadium to maximize hospitality facilities and a single tier stand in the south. The roof is a cable net structure, allowing the stadium to serve as a concert hall with good acoustics in mind to leverage its atmosphere. Basically, it combines both modern design and efficiency in one. If you're a Premier League fan, you seriously need to watch a game here. You'll never regret it. So which of these stadiums do you think deserves it ranking the most? Let us know in the comments below. While our rankings for this season are locked in, who knows what might change next year? With many of these stadiums planning renovations, the list could shift. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.